Light poles across the city continue to pose a major risk to both pedestrians and drivers. Another falling in the loop on Adams and Wabash just this morning. No one was injured. The city says wind is to blame. CBS News' Meredith Barrick investigates how this is happening time and time again. So when you have a combination of high wind and light poles that already have a weakened base, that is when the probability of, of having these light poles fall over increases. Dr. Sammy Tin, an IIT professor and materials engineer, has worked with CBS2 investigators since 2015 to expose decaying light poles. Under certain circumstances, if not, if maintenance is not uh, um, made to these poles on a regular basis, they, there's potential for these poles to fail and fall over. The pole that fell on Monday is just one of several dangerous light poles CBS2 investigators have looked into. In 2019, a light pole fell and injured a woman near LaSalle and Lake in the loop. And in February of 2020, a rusted city light pole fell onto the car of a 25-year-old in Streeterville, leaving her with a concussion and other injuries. Data from 311 shows 970 total complaints of damage to light poles so far in 2021. In the loop alone, there have been 214 total complaints of light pole damage so far this year. But none were made for this light pole until 7.56 a.m. this morning when the light pole fell. Dr. Tin says to prevent this from happening again elsewhere, regular inspections are necessary, especially if the city doesn't want falling light poles, hurting people or damaging property. The city would only confirm wind knocked it over and would get back to us as to whether or not they were looking into rust on the base. Light pole improvement could be on the horizon. In November of 2020, Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced a five-year capital plan that included $112 million to replace 4,000 aging light poles. In the Loop, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS2 News.